What's going on guys, it's Brandon again, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new Red Orchestra 2 video. And today we're going to be talking about one of the classes that can really shift the tide of battle in Red Orchestra 2. Now when this class used effectively can be incredibly useful, it can really be beneficial for the team. However, it can also prove to be a burden for the team if not used correctly. Now the class I'm talking about is the squad leader position. Now why is the squad leader class so beneficial for the team? Now the answer is really fairly simple. The squad leader's job is to keep the momentum flowing throughout the tide of battle. Squad mates are able to spawn on the squad leaders, meaning you can really keep the pressure on the enemy, pushing them back further and further on the objective. If you're playing the squad leader role and you just run out there and constantly get shot because you're using your shiny new submachine gun, then you're not keeping the momentum flowing for your squad mates. So the number one objective of the squad leader's job is to make sure that you stay alive to keep the momentum flowing for your squad mates. I cannot repeat that enough, just stay alive, get behind a tree, find a rock, get into some cover, and act as a mobile spawn unit. If that means going prone and crawling all the way to the objective, then go ahead and do that, just make sure that you're laying low and you're not being seen by the enemy. Or if you're already really comfortable with Red Orchestra 2 and you're in a position like I am, I'm behind some pretty good cover and I can oversee the battlefield, and I'm not in a position where I'm going to get flanked really easily. Now, I'll come back to this more later, talking about staying alive and acting as a mobile spawn unit, but really quick, I want to cover the other types of weapons and armaments that the squad leader position comes with. Now, squad leaders come with a very important weapon, and that weapon is actually the binoculars. However, the reason why I'm not effectively using my binoculars in this match is because our commander was not the greatest commander in the world this game. So it's mainly just focusing on keeping the momentum for our squad mates. Sometimes you will run into that commanders have no idea what's going on. Again, they just see a cool class with some cool weapons and they'll just end up clicking on it. So if you do have an effective commander, you're going to use the binoculars to mark artillery points so they can pound that position. And I highly recommend that when you are a squad leader, you do work with your commander because commanders really can change the tide of battle. Now you can win without a commander, however you just need to make sure that you're effectively using the squad leader position to your best ability. Now another job of the squad leader is to effectively lay down smoke grenades. Now right here there's really no reason for me to lay down smoke grenades, we're in a really good defensive position, we're capturing the point, and we really don't have anything to worry about, we just need to lay down fire and keep the enemy occupied basically. But when you are using smoke grenades, you want to use them in a way where you don't benefit the enemy. And the one big problem I see with squad leaders throwing down smoke, is the fact that they throw down smoke right in front of the objective, and this opens the door for your team to just get slaughtered as soon as they go through the smoke. Because the enemy is more than likely already in a good defensive position, so as soon as they see enemies come through that smoke, they're just going to light them up. So in a way, what you want to do is kind of reverse this effect. In a way, what I like to do is throw smoke behind the objective. I know that sounds somewhat strange, but if you unload on all the enemies up front, then once they start to respawn behind the smoke, they'll end up coming through it, and you can kind of do the same effect towards them. They'll be somewhat confused, they don't know where the fire is coming from. That way, you're able to really suppress them and hold down the objective. Now, focusing back towards the video, we eventually clear out the left side, we end up moving up, and I end up taking a stray grenade that just comes out of nowhere. So what I decided to do is rotate to the right flank. It's a very good idea to rotate on your angles, that way the enemy, if they're all piled up on one side, they won't expect you to come from the other side and flank them. And again, I just end up moving all the way up, sitting down in a little building, and basically letting my squad mates respawn over and over and over while we hold the position and secure the point. But anyway guys, I think that pretty much sums up this video you just gotta remember you gotta act as a mobile spawn point for your squad this way you can keep the momentum going over and over and over in the tide of battle also remember if you have a pretty good commander remember to communicate back and forth with them this way you can lay down artillery and the points that you really need it and ultimately swinging the battle more in your favor make sure you utilize your smoke grenades as well throw them in areas that's going to be beneficial for your squad and your team and not in a way that's going to be beneficial for the enemy but again i want to say just make sure that you stay alive as squad leader that is your primary objective in my opinion to stay alive it's the most beneficial objective for your team to stay alive and act as a mobile spawn point but anyway guys again i think that pretty much sums up this video if you have any questions comments or concerns then please leave them down in the comments and i'll get back to you as soon as possible i'm always up for doing recommended videos and i have a few recommended videos that i need to get done first and then i'll move on to any more recommendations that you guys put down below and that goes for any video games for done red orchestra war thunder or any games i haven't played on my channel i am up for doing those but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video my name's brandon and as always have a nice day